All right, I'm gonna be explaining what I'm trying to do. Uh, this is my brand new Aventum bike, right? This bike came with an extra battery that I just opened. Uh, basically, these batteries, uh, they have, this, the, this is the battery open right now, right? Uh, this is the BMS, so the ba battery management system. But this BMS is a, uh, it's a dumb BMS because it's a, I don't like it. The reason why is because when you are doing balancing or you, you try to uh, balance the batteries that are inside, like, let me see here, the batteries need to be balanced. The problem is these BMSs, what they use is a passive, balancer which most likely are these mosfets with this resistance basically basically what they do is when the uh, cells uh, reach 4.2 uh, volts they start uh, converting the excess of 4.2 volts in heat so until the other group of uh, batteries reach the 4.2 and that's what they recommend. Okay, just do it once a month. And the reason why is because this doesn't do a good job and sometimes those sales go over 4.2 volts, sometimes 4.3, 4.4, uh, because the resistor cannot catch up, you know, and uh, eventually hurt the sales. So solution that I see is, if you see here, we have the battery, the group connectors, here B, B minus, uh, B1, B2, B3. So we can connect a cable balancer like this one. This is a JST for uh, 13 cells. So it has 14 uh, cables. No, actually it's, uh, yeah, yeah, 14 cables for 13 cells. Uh, we connect one of these cables here and then with this balancer port, I can leave it somewhere here. So, and then I can connect an external or right here, uh, active balancer, something like, let me see, I may have one. It's a big one, but something like this. Obviously it's not gonna be this one. This one is probably too big. So, what this does is balance the battery all the time, even if it's not in maximum uh, voltage, 4.2, like this one does. So this one is smart and I can connect that by Bluetooth to my cell phone and I can monitor every single cell individually, uh, well, by group. And uh, so, and balance the battery. So the battery will last forever. I mean, you, you really can take care of the battery very nicely if you do that. Or I can eliminate the whole BMS completely, completely, and then add a BMS like this one. This one have active balancer built in. This is a really nice BMS. It's, it costs over a hundred dollars. Um, so I don't have necessarily to put the BMS on the battery. So I can just put the battery on the bike and then make a, like a modification. So to plug this, you know, somewhere in the, in the, in the bike, probably in a, in the bag, in the back, back. So, I'm, you know, manage the battery from there with BMS. And then with a cell phone app, I can manage everything. So I can put with these uh, BMSs, I can, restrict for example excess of amps i can do so much for the battery so and i can know if a cell is coming bad before cause a fire or something like that because i can monitor everything if something goes wrong i can open the battery fix the battery so but that's over the time i mean if something goes wrong i mean with good cells normally you don't have that probably like cells like i prefer use cells like samsung or stuff like that. See, I'm, I'm making a, a battery right now. 
I'm in the process of balancing and checking sale by sale. So, well, that's the plan and charge everything with this beast. This is a 16 cell uh, charger, so, so that's the plan.